Hi, in this video, we're going to learn about the math module, how we can use it, and some really cool math functions. Before we get started, I want you to try and print the square root of the number 25. Did you guys find the square root symbol on your keypad? No, right? That's because not all complex functions can be performed using basic operations. You need to use the math module to help you. Let's see how we can use this math module. All you need to do is type import math. In this way, you can import all of the inbuilt math functions. In this example, we write math.sqrt function. The sqrt function finds the square root of the number. Here it's 25. You can try this code and see the output. In this case, the output is 5. What else can you do with math? You can use the seal and flow functions. Do you know what they do? The seal function, as the name suggests, gives you the smallest integer value of the greater number given to the function. The flow function returns the greatest integer value smaller than the number. Now let's take a look at an example. In this example, you're importing the math function and you're assigning the value of a to 2.3. Over here, we are finding the seal value and flow value of the variable a. Here, the seal function returns the value 3 and the flow function returns the value 2. You can change the value of a to any other decimal number and see how it works. Now, let's take a look at few more math functions. The power function and the factorial function. In the power function, you have to pass two values, the x and y values. It returns an integer value by evaluating x raised to the power y. In the factorial function, you have to pass an integer value. It returns the factorial of that number. Here's an example. In this example, you're importing the math module and then you're assigning the values of x and y to 5 and 2. You're calculating the power and factorial of these values using the math function. You can try this piece of code and see what output you get. Did you know that you can also perform trigonometric functions as well as logarithmic functions using the math module? If you want to know more information about this, here's the link.